Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with creamy tomato tuna penne pasta. That's right, super easy, delicious, healthy pasta dish, which is a very popular food wish, based on one of my favorite lunch specials of all time, the tuna melt with a cup of cream of tomato soup. So delicious. So here we go. Now, if you can swing it, you want to use this, tuna packed in olive oil. I'm using tonino. Some of you may know I want a year supply, so of course I'm going to use this. This one is packed in olive oil with oregano, and you can see the beautiful hand-packed pieces of tuna with the olive oil. This is the best for this kind of a pasta. If you can't find that, use regular tuna and a couple tablespoons of olive oil, pinch of dry oregano. It'll still work, but you can find this at the nice stores. And if they don't have this brand, any tuna packed in olive oil should work. I'm going to dump that into a saucepan over medium low heat. I'm also going to toss in a little bit of anchovy, either filet or paste. All right, we're going to need a little salt in this anyway. I'd rather use the anchovy, or as we call it around here, Italian MSG. A giant pinch of red pepper flakes, because I like it spicy. A good amount of crushed garlic, two or three cloves. We're going to break that up, and I'm going to saute that in the olive oil the tuna came in for about a minute. But I don't want to start counting that minute until I see it sizzling. Okay, see that? When you see the oil bubbling a little bit and that garlic starts to kind of sizzle just a hair, give it about a minute. You don't want to color it. You don't want to brown it. We just want to wake up the flavors, take that raw edge off. At that point, after a minute, I'm going to add cream of tomato soup. I know, you can't believe it, can you? And I'm not using the concentrate out of that white and red can. This is a carton of high quality, organic, low sodium, all natural cream of tomato soup. All right, again, the same nice story you got the tuna in, they will have those cartons of tomato soup. And you'll also see me throw in a little bit of water there, about a half cup I use to rinse out the tuna jar. All right, we're gonna give that a stir. I'm gonna turn the heat up to medium and I wanna bring this to a simmer. And I wanna simmer for about 10 minutes, which coincidentally is about how long it's gonna to take to cook your penne pasta. So bring it to a simmer. You don't want it boiling, but you want a little bubbling going on. All right. In the meantime, we're going to bring a large salted pot of water to a rapid boil. We're going to cook our penne pasta about a minute and a half to two minutes less than the package directions. Because this is a very light, thin type sauce, we want the pasta to absorb this at the end. By the way, why is there a red pepper flake floating? Because I don't use a different spoon to stir the pasta that I use for the sauce. Why do I want to wash two spoons? All right, when the pasta is cooked, we're going to drain it really, really well, put it back into the dry pot. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of chopped fresh tarragon, a fantastic herb for seafood pastas. Really sweetens things up, super nice. I'm going to pour in my hot sauce, a handful, about a half a cup of finely, finely, finely grated real Parmesan. If you're using that crap from the store that's already pre-graded, the fake waxy stuff, don't even bother. Don't make me do a grating demo. So we're going to stir all that together quickly. We're going to pop the lid back on for like two minutes and let the heat, the residual heat in that pasta. We did not rinse it. We never rinse our pasta. The pasta is still very hot. It's going to absorb that beautifully light, sweet, aromatic tomato sauce. All right, after two minutes, we're going to uncover it. We're going to give it another stir because the stuff at the bottom, you know, is absorbing a little quicker than the stuff at the top. So you want to mix that well, put the lid back on for one minute, and then you're pretty much ready to eat. All right, taste for salt and pepper. Should be fine. Let me take a look here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Like I said, a really light, light, but still very satisfying, rich tasting sauce. By the way, if you're like, hey, I heard you can't put cheese and pasta and seafood together. Read the blog post. Read the blog post. I prove once and for all that that is BS. Pardon my language. We're going to spoon that up. Such a great, just delicious, super fast, super easy. 15 minutes start to finish. You got a beautiful lunch or dinner. Some more grated Parmesan. Throw a few more pepper flakes on there. So, so good. Look at that. I'm going to dig in. So believe it or not, cream of tomato soup used as a pasta sauce. Like I said, this was inspired by one of my favorite lunch specials of all time, tuna melt with a cup of cream of tomato soup. I love that lunch. Whenever I'm at a diner, I look for that. Such a classic combination. This is kind of a take on that in pasta form. Anyway, I really hope you give that a try. 
All the ingredients are on the site, as usual. And as always, enjoy 